In my life, I try to be as positive as possible, and try to see the beauty where others see dirt. And one of the most disgusting places on Earth is the sewer. Just a series of disgusting tunnels connecting us all with poop. Connecting us all with poop. The waste cleanup effort for sewers is something we should have more of a respect for. Imagine having that job, it would suck. So we should respect the brave people who go out and clean the messes that we all make. Not to sound cliche, but they are the real heroes. Let's try to think of the upsides of the sewer. If it wasn't for them, keeping streets clean would be much more difficult. The streets of Los Angeles would be full of literal trash rather than just the human trash. We don't need to clean our own waste like kitty litter because we have sewers. Dogs and cats don't have sewers. And look how gross they are. They say if a bear poops in the woods, can anyone hear it? We don't need to know because we have sewers. Not to mention, the references to capitalism of keeping dirt below as we use biblical and religious beliefs to perceive lower altitude as being worse, so the entire existence of there being tunnels of literal filth below us is a philosophical rant waiting to happen. And here it is, a philosophical rant. It's something we should constantly be aware of and thankful for, that there are people who clean the waste we create, and the fact that we don't constantly shower them with praise is unfair. And it is a dark thought to think of, how we don't think often enough of the grime and dirt that we create, and shove it under us for other people to deal with. If we didn't have those lovely men and women in NBs, then the trash we have could turn sentient. Sentient! And then suddenly we would have a French Revolution. Wait, nope, sorry. A trash revolution. Which would bring about the dark trash apocalypse. We have so many other types of apocalypses to prepare for. See previous video of mine, same... See previous video of mine, shameless plug. But we would have no idea how to handle a trash apocalypse. But it would be a pretty awesome movie setting. We just have every other type of apocalypse film, why not have a trash setting? You can just film it in Detroit and you wouldn't even need to CG anything. The sewer has more valuable services to us. On top of movies, they make for set pieces of action scenes. Movies would have nothing if not for sewers. Try watching any movie and you'll probably see a sewer in it, especially if it's a YouTuber film, but that's a different kind of sewer altogether. Where would main characters hide out when they've been wrongfully framed, or when there's an army looking for them? Sewers are the automatic hiding place, so much so where it's probably a really bad idea due to how obvious it is. Okay, maybe the sewer isn't that great of an idea here, I admit. But if there were no sewers, then there would be no secret bunkers, no hidden entrances with easily predictable codes to get in. Where would all the CIA hide? Where would the Fast and Furious get all their ridiculous cars? Plus, it's fun to drive underground. Sewers are just long race tracks. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Your parents, the police, the judge, the jury, your court-appointed therapist, the city council of sewer maintenance, they don't know anything. And the sewers granted us subways, which granted us Jared. Wait, wrong subway. Anyway, with those subways, travel has been a lot easier. If it weren't like that, we would need above ground trains, and they suck. Plus, we wouldn't have any place for creepy clowns and monsters to hide out. What's a good horror movie without going into the sewers and hearing the echoes of a dead loved one? What's the point of movies without that? Back to what I said about the race potential of sewers, it's just so much fun to drive through them. No, I don't have a problem, shut up. The sewers are just an opportunity to see how fast you can get in your parents' car you stole. There are no speed limits in the sewer. There would be nowhere for the Fast and Furious franchise to go, since they have already been everywhere bleeding else. And you know that franchise has the most realistic settings in mind. You're never going to find a better natural setting, not specifically designed for racing, but best suited for racing, than a sewer. The long stretches just make it addicting to steal the first car you see and head underground. I don't have a problem, Doc. It's a little weird that they have outlets into the rivers of the city. Granted, artificial rivers are a little weird in the first place, 
but having the tubes of trash underground open out is just asking for rivers of trash and environmental issues. Once again, Detroit. Back to the racing. The sewers have both concrete paths and mud paths, so you can drive both on and off road, a great test for the opportunities of your car, and pushed to the limits. That's what I love about it so much. Plus it has built in ramps. Ramps are always needed to spruce up a race. Plus it causes a shit ton of crashes, and those are always fun, and not demented to laugh at. The ramps are also wet with sewer water, allowing for more jumpiness. God, I love the sewer. Then, you can just take a bunch of mushrooms and hallucinate Mario Kart pickups lined throughout the track. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh, well, there's a mushroom item joke here, but I can't think of it, so pretend I said it and laugh, please. <gasps> Without sewers and, like, we wouldn't have the Batcave. Think of how important the Batcave is to modern day. Okay, not that important, actually, but we reference it a shit ton, and we would be remiss without it. After all, bats live underground, hence the bat cave, but if there were no tunnels or sewers, we would just have to deal with bats all over the place and above ground, freaking out, biting people, burning in the sunlight, sleeping in coffins. Okay, I might have bats and vampires confused a little bit. Bats don't bite. Otherwise, where would Batman have to go? It would just be a bat house, but he already has a mansion, so that wouldn't be fun for him at all. Maybe a bat trailer or a bat futon. Hell, there are enough blimps around Gotham that he could just use one of them. Could there be a bat cave above ground? But that's not a cave, it's just a big tent. It would look like Batman just went camping under a big rock, and that would look pretty damn conspicuous. It feels like changing Batman's base would be something that would be in, like, a cheesy reboot. There are tons of examples of people changing pre-existing details for the sake of audience outrage translating to clicks. So why not have a bat tent? Wait, there's already a crappy reboot that tried to change stuff for no reason. It's apparently a cancelled show called Gotham High, where a bunch of characters are teenagers, and it's just Batman but in school. What the shit? What the unequivocal crap? Who thought that was a good idea? That was ridiculous. I've had better ideas and I go- And I once got stuck with a whole handful of almonds in my mouth because I thought I could fit it. Where would the TMNT go? They wouldn't have any place to go, no place to skateboard. The TMNT without the sewers is like the TMNT is aliens. That's such a stupid idea that no one in their right mind would do it. Where would they go? They're giant turtles. I mean, maybe in Detroit they would blend in, but nowhere else. They could try a dumb trench coat trick, but a mysterious man in a trench coat usually gives more flashy connotations to it. I bet they would love to live in a pizza store, but is it practical to live in a pizza store? I feel like the health risks of the amount of pizza would be too much, even for mutants. I guess they could try to go out to a zoo, but if their ninja goal was to blend in, that would suck. They would have more people paying to see them in a cage than when Trump gets imprisoned. Oh no, politics. Shut up. At the zoo, they could try and play that broom slide thing game from the Wild movie. What's it called? Shuffling? Yeah, they can shuffle. Or do ninja stuff or whatever. Who cares about ninjas when we can have shufflers? They would need to make some money for rent, so working at a carnival or a circus is probably their only option. Granted, they could try and get into movies, but Hollywood doesn't pay people, so that would be dumb. It's just another sign of how important the sewer is. It may be the embodiment of dirt and grime, but at the end of the day, is it not a fundamental part of humanity that we all have our own personal dirt and grime deep within us? Something that we feel the need to hide out, only find true comfort when we accept the reality and value of it. In that sense, we all have our own sewers, and if everyone has one, then humans are truly sewer creatures. And I mean that in the best way.